What is going on guys? Riley here. Today is kind of a sad day. Today we are saying our final goodbyes to the One LE here. It's uh, kind of a bittersweet day for me because I know I'll be getting a Hellcat, which is something I've looked forward to for a very long time, something I've always wanted, but I really have enjoyed owning this car and it's been great to me. I haven't had a single problem with it. It's been, honestly, the ownership has been perfect. I've got my good buddy Sean back there. He's gonna be helping me kind of uninstall some stuff and install some stock parts back on there. And then, uh, I don't know, just kind of, you know, saying our final goodbyes. But like they say, all good things must come to an end. So we're gonna go over some memories here in this video, um, do a cold start. I haven't started the car in three weeks, so I'm hoping it starts. Um, so that should be pretty good. And then, you know, uninstall and install some exhaust and just kind of go over some good times that we've had with this car. So without further ado, enjoy the video. So as I sit here and take off the uh, axle back, why don't we throw it back to some good old memories here with the Camaro, some of the good times we've had, and uh, a lot of drag racing with this car. So without further ado, enough wasting your time, there she is. <laughs> Just to show you guys, right here you can see the car is at 1,800 miles. So literally I'm racing the car before I hit 2,000 miles. It's going to be a great day. I almost died! Okay, yeah, put your, put your left foot all the way on the clutch. Your left foot, not your right foot. That's no, dude. I freaking like that a lot. Safe travels, my friend. We're here at Mike's house, and if you look, oh look, the Camaro made it here in one piece. Let's turn on to this back road here and see how she does. Pretty good. What about this? It's just not for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed those good old memories here with the Camaro. Now let's go ahead and make some final ones. As you can see, there is the MBRP axle back that I've had on the car. And as of now, it has zero mufflers, zero resonators, and the exhaust is being dumped right there. It does not have secondary cats, but it has the primary cats. But I wanna start it up just to hear what it sounds like, basically straight piped from the primary cats back. So I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty loud, but uh, let's go ahead and fire her up and hear what she sounds like. <laughs> Race car. Hell yeah, brother. So Frank decided to come join the fun 
How's it going, Frank? Yeah. Great. All right, enough of that straight pipe stuff. As you can see, we got the stock NPP exhaust back on there. These tips look so much smaller. Like that's such a huge gap for those little exhaust tips. I didn't realize it was that big of a difference, but yeah, so much room for activities in there. I sent Sean in there to change it to the louder setting, but quiet. And the quote unquote loud mode. <laughs> wow, it's so much quieter, that's ridiculous. So if you're wondering what the secondary cat delete sounds like, it really didn't make too much of a difference to the uh, exhaust. So now let's take her for a final spin and enjoy these last moments here in the Camaro. <laughs> so much quieter. Man, does it feel good to be back in a car. My goodness. So as you guys know, I've been driving the Rowdy Ram for the past three weeks, have not been in this car in three weeks. And man, it feels good to be in a car and it feels good to be back in this car. It really kind of brings me back to like, man, just how much fun this car is to drive just even slowly. Like it's just such an enjoyable car and you know, I really am going to miss it. And if you guys don't know why I'm selling it, basically I'm selling this and the truck to kind of combine them into one vehicle, which is something a little bit larger than this, something a little bit more practical, a little bit more daily drivable. Um, but if it wasn't for me having to move cities basically then I'd still keep both vehicles because I really do enjoy the combination of the Camaro and the truck but man this car is just so much fun to drive and I, I won't lie I took a little bit of the fun away um, making it a little bit quieter now I kind of wish it was louder again but since the car's getting sold it's whatever so yeah guys not a whole lot to say for this video I'm just kind of enjoying my last few hours here in the Camaro just kind of cruising for a little bit just you know reminiscing on the good times <laughs> it seems silly because I've only had this car for like eight months or whatever but I really have felt like I've owned it for longer than that and uh, I mean this car has just been so good to me I'm leaving this Camaro ownership experience with a really positive feeling I guess like when I previously sold my scat pack I kind of got away from that and I was like oh I'm glad to have that car you know out of here but this car it's like I'm going to miss this car there's gonna be days where I'm gonna be like man I wish I still had the Camaro so you know, it's a it's a different selling experience. I know this is better in the long run and more practical and uh, you know, getting a new car is always fun, but that doesn't change the fact that I will miss this car and I really have enjoyed owning it. And uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll be back in a Camaro. So yeah, guys, the next time you see me, I will be buying a Hellcat and it should be a pretty fun day. So really looking forward to that. Should have a bunch of good times in that car as well. But uh, for now, guys, that's all she wrote for the Camaro. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy. Now I know you guys basically just saw me in this video. However, I do want to finish it up by showing the very final moments of both the Ram and the Camaro. Both of my vehicles I sold to texasdirectauto.com. They gave me very reasonable offers for both vehicles, uh, better amounts that I could get at any dealership. Um, so, you know, I'm more than happy to deal with them. They've been great. No, like, beating around the bush. It was just very straight to the point. They gave me very fair offers, and, you know, that was that. I basically got exactly what I wanted for both of the vehicles, so I really can't be too upset. Uh, and also, I know I'm getting a great deal on the next vehicle, too. So, overall, this is all working out to be in my favor, so I'm really happy about it. But uh, also really sad that this is the, the very final times I'll probably see both of these vehicles. Uh, hopefully the next owner of this car may be watching this video and hopefully I'll maybe see this one again. But uh, yeah, here's the final look guys. This is, uh, this is our final goodbyes. Sean, what do you think, buddy? I don't know. I'm sad to see it go, but I'm kind of excited. <laughs> I, I like to put my tongue. But yeah, I mean, Hellcat, man. Come on. But yeah, once again, if somebody's watching this video and wants to buy either the Camaro or the Ram, Texas Direct Auto should have it, uh, both of these vehicles for sale on their website here within the next few days. So definitely give them a check. Both of these 
vehicles are in absolutely perfect condition. Like both of them have been great. Not a single issue with either one of them. So it's not like I'm getting rid of them because something's wrong with them. It's literally getting rid of them just to get a Hellcat. And that's my only real reason. But yeah, guys, now for the actual outro. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Take it easy.